Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The tools in the tools bar at the top of the Camera Raw dialog box let you manipulate the open Camera Raw image. This lesson shows you which tools are available and how to use them to manipulate the preview image in this dialog box. The zoom tool is selected by default. It lets you click the preview image to zoom in. To zoom out, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click the image. To temporarily switch to the Hand tool when the Zoom tool is selected, hold down either the Control or Spacebar key on your keyboard. To temporarily switch to the White Balance tool instead, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Clicking the Hand tool button lets you switch to using the Hand tool by default. You use the hand tool to scroll and pan the image preview when the magnification level is high enough that you cannot see the entire preview image in the frame provided. Click and drag the preview image when using the hand tool to move it within the frame. To temporarily switch to the zoom tool to zoom in when the hand tool is selected, hold down the control key on your keyboard. To temporarily switch to the zoom tool to zoom out when the hand tool is selected, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard. To temporarily switch to the White Balance tool instead, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Clicking the White Balance tool button lets you use the White Balance tool by default. The White Balance tool sets the correct white balance in the photo to remove color casts from improper lighting when the photo was taken. This tool changes the temperature and tint sliders in the settings panel to make this adjustment. To use this tool, click into a place in the preview image that should contain a neutral gray tone to remove any color casts and adjust the color of the whole image. The Crop Tool button lets you remove unwanted parts of the image. In its most basic use, you can click the Crop Tool button to enable the tool. Then click and drag to draw a bounding box over the part of the preview image to retain. Then click another tool in the tools bar or press the enter key on your keyboard to finish cropping the preview image. Note that this tool also has many other available settings. To apply advanced cropping settings, click and hold down the crop tool button until its drop down menu appears. Then select your cropping settings from the drop down before cropping the image. By default, the normal and constrained to image settings are selected. To crop the image by using a specific ratio, select the ratio from the drop-down menu listing. To create a custom ratio, select the custom command to open the custom crop dialog box. Then enter the crop ratio to use in this dialog box, and then click the OK button. After selecting a ratio or creating your own, then click and drag in the image to draw a bounding box with the specified ratio in the preview image, then finish cropping the image as normal. To see a 3x3 overlay over the bounding box to help maintain image composure and proportions when cropping, choose the Show Overlay command in the Crop Tool button's drop-down menu. After drawing a bounding box, you can adjust its position in the preview image. To move it, click and drag in the center of the bounding box. To change its dimensions, place your mouse pointer over the sides or the corners of the bounding box until a double-pointed arrow appears. Then click and drag in either direction shown by the double pointed arrow to change the bounding box's size. To rotate the bounding box, which changes the image's angle like the straighten tool does, place your mouse pointer slightly outside the bounding box until a bent double pointed arrow appears. Then click and drag in either direction shown by the double pointed arrow to rotate the bounding box. You can hold down the Shift key when rotating or resizing to ensure you resize in proportion to the existing dimensions or rotate in set increments. To clear a bounding box, select the Clear Crop command from the Crop Tool button's drop-down menu or press the Escape key on your keyboard. After cropping an image, you can also select the Set to Original Crop command from the Crop Tool button's drop-down menu to revert back to its original crop. The Straighten tool lets you straighten a crooked image that was taken at an angle. To do this, click the Straighten tool button. Then click and drag a straight line across the image where you want the bottom of the image to appear. 
a bounding box like the one used by the crop tool then appears on screen. You can adjust its rotation, size, and placement just like you can for the crop tool if needed. To finish straightening the image, click another button in the tools bar or press your keyboard's enter key. To correct red eye or pet eye in an image, click the red eye removal tool button. If needed, then use the pupil size and darken sliders that appear in the settings pane at the right side of the dialog box to set your desired levels for both settings. Then simply click and drag over the red eye or pet eye to correct in the image. The correction occurs automatically using the settings you specified. If the program cannot find any red eyes in the selected area, a message box appears and prompts you to redraw the area to include the eye and some of the face so it can make the corrections. To access the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box, click the Open Preferences dialog button in the Tools bar. In the General section, you can choose to save image settings in either Sidecar XMP files or in the Camera Raw database by making the desired selection from the drop-down menu. You can also choose to apply sharpening to all images or preview images only by making the desired selection from the next drop-down. In the default image settings section, you can check or uncheck the checkboxes to either apply or disable each setting. The settings are apply auto tone and color adjustments, make defaults specific to camera serial number, and make defaults specific to camera ISO setting. In the DNG file handling section, you can check or uncheck the checkboxes to either apply or disable each listed setting. The settings are ignore sidecar XMP files, and update embedded JPEG previews. If the second setting is enabled, then use the adjacent drop-down to select the desired preview size to update. In the keyboard shortcuts section, you can check or uncheck the Use Legacy Undo Shortcuts checkbox to enable or disable the Legacy Undo shortcut. After changing your settings, click the OK button in the upper right corner of the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box to apply them. Finally, you can click the Rotate Image 90 Degrees Counterclockwise or the Rotate Image 90 Degrees Clockwise button to rotate the image either 90 degrees counterclockwise or 90 degrees clockwise each time you click the respective button in the tools bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.